is something that can strengthen NATO, give us an additional string to our bow in circumstances where NATO doesn't want to. I made the case, like I will do to all the leaders with whom I meet, that we need to think differently about uh, the post-Cold War era, that uh, there are new threats that face people who love freedom. There are the threat of an accidental launch of a missile. There are the threats of uh, a potential blackmail when one of these nations develops a, a weapons of mass destruction and be willing to point at America, Britain, our allies, our friends, people with whom we've got commitments. And we've got to deal with those in a realistic way. If you look at the, um, the weapons of mass destruction that people are trying to develop and nuclear proliferation, then it's important that we look at every single way we possibly can of dealing with this threat. Now, as the President said a moment or two ago, we don't have a specific proposal on the table yet. But I understand and share the American concerns, as I've said many times before. And I think what is important is that if we take this forward in a, in a constructive way and have the right discussion with allies, then we can find a way through this. I've always believed that instantly, and I believe that even more firmly having talked to the President today. I'd like to hear first your response and then the Prime Minister. He assured me that NATO is, uh, is going to be the primary way to keep the peace in Europe and that the United States, and I assured him, the United States will be actively engaged in NATO, remain engaged in Europe with our allies. But he also assured me that uh, the European defense would no way undermine NATO. The sovereign decision of each nation is necessary for... Speaking together as the founders of, of, of NATO, we would never do anything to undermine NATO. But where NATO as a whole chooses not to be engaged, it is important that we have the capability where it's right and within these limited tasks that I've set out to be able to act, should we choose to do so ourselves. It's difficult to foresee the exact circumstances in which I might pick up the phone and ask the President to help, but the fact that I know he is there and, and willing to do that is very important um, because President Clinton was a great assistance during you know, difficult parts of the Northern Ireland peace process, um, and it's a very difficult process. More realistic. Um, a change in sanctions should not in any way, shape, or form embolden Saddam Hussein. He has got to understand that we're going to watch him carefully. And if we catch him developing weapons of mass destruction, we'll take the appropriate action. See you at the gym.